so we just had a actually pretty long day with the mood today we're at uh, Rue Saint Honoré and I got myself something from Relisiaga, not from here but the store in uh, on the Avenue, Avenue Montagne so these are not usually the stores I visit every day but there was something I wanted to give myself something because why not and uh, Und also got himself something so now we are heading to Mare to have a drink somewhere and have a look at some vintage stores and uh, I just bumped into someone who's watching my YouTube videos from the US which is super surprising because oh sorry <laughs> uh, no I have most of my viewers from the US which is pretty insane and um, it's not been the first time someone bumped into me and told me that so that makes me incredibly happy and um, yeah that's very cool so I'm very having a lot of endorphins right now and now we are going by metro because I think we made like 15,000 steps today probably um, and in the evening in the night we will go out so we'll have a drink go to some vintage stores go home not nap but chill a little and then get out again with my sweetest Umut from Istanbul who is the most beautiful human being I know if someone has a model agency please call them because someone's underrated as fuck okay <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <coughs> um. So guys, it's actually moving day. As you see, my wardrobe is super empty now. Everything is empty. And now I can show you the apartment maybe because I was kind of scared of showing you uh, while I was living here because I mean, while I was living here because you never know. I had a super nice bathroom like with walk-in uh, douche cabin. I had a closet here and I had a huge bed where they um, questionable star above it uh, um, unnecessary chair but great to put your dirty but not super dirty stuff in it this hanger was very practical I had beautiful windows I could watch about well, the boulevard which was maybe as beautiful but I was waking up every day for some new campaigns and uh, no it was super nice to be honest but I'm very happy to be moving because I really love my new apartment but yeah, I have this couch, which is actually not really working. So it was horrible and I hated it. And now we packed everything. Elisa was so kind to pack everything. And yes, it's not a professional way of moving, but this is how I move. Uh, because it's actually just like a 10 minute drive from here. Uh, here I had my dining table that I didn't use very frequently. Uh, the kitchen, I really like the kitchen because I think not having shelves makes it very modern. So I really liked it. A bit kitsch, like not a bit, but it had a lot of kitsch here, but also great to have mirrors, like we love it. And this was the entry and here was the toilet because in old buildings in Paris it's usually divided. So I mean it's actually very practical to have the toilet and um, the bathroom somewhere else because Two people can use it when they don't go to the bathroom for the same purpose yeah, here's another window so it's super nice i'm so exhausted i didn't take off my makeup yesterday i i look horrible please don't i will try to zoom in a corner or something um it's funny i need to check out asap it's like at 11 a.m it's actually check out but um i'm still doing some work and I did manage to get out. Elisa needed to leave. She helped me, like she almost packed everything for me. I'm a bit chaotic, I would say. I would, I, I can be organized, but I really like to do everything last minute. Uh, it's creative people things. Um, she packed it. It's impossible for me to get this, like with a one Uber drive to the apartment. I need to adjust in the apartment stuff. So let's see how I'm gonna do it. I need to finish some stuff here. And I think in about an hour, I will do like the first, the first car drive, like maybe 
these three things and the next one the other one maybe someone will help me but being in Paris alone also means like kind of you need to figure it out yourself and it's okay I have to say I think I can do that pretty good but having friends and people that support you is always important and I'm happy that I have people that help me but it might be that you at the end of the day have to move on your own you know anyway let's see so we've been to Bon Marché and um, actually just got some towels and now we're going to uh, a concept store called Merci, Merci uh, which has extremely nice stuff Umut was here from Istanbul and we actually wanted to go here but we didn't manage they have everything from furniture, fashion, also like Japanese brands and stuff so I cannot wait because sometimes maybe I will find something uh, I just got towels from Bon Marché because I literally don't have anything uh, except for the kitchen so at least I can wash myself and I think um, yeah that's pretty important so let's have a look at Merci I actually like the fit of this one, but on the color and let's see which brand it is. I have no idea, but maybe like Stand or something. I will have to check if there are different colors. I think it's wearable on both sides. Doesn't make it better with Bordeaux. And it's a label called. Uh, oh, okay, that's pretty famous, I think. And it's. How much? 650. Okay. I would say not worth it. say overall a very Parisian style um, this is nice it reminds of the Celine one not as fine of course it's some so some so for 170 I need to check the what it's made of um, yeah and this is probably okay. Kashmir label, I think. Not bad. I like the fit of this one. Crop Kashmir. Nice. And yeah, typical. German label doing like wool knits called Heimat, also made in Germany, which is pretty cool.
So I'm just heading out already pretty quickly to be honest. Um, the fashion is mainly like very Parisian and I think they kind of like the aesthetic like it's a certain crowd. Uh, but to my disappointment, just uh, I think like four Ukraine um, protests going on. We will head to some vintage stores now because actually most of the pieces there looked. Oh, look, Officine General. That's why I'm here. So I can have a look at the brands that I used to follow from Book Runway. For example, Sesun. Okay, I cannot turn around. Uh, yeah, I will have a look and let's see because I actually really need some black pants because yeah owning 50 pairs is not enough but I actually don't really have a basic one and I tend to wear the one I have which is super old from Jazana every day and it's kind of getting ripped and before it's totally destroyed I would like to invest in a new one so let's have a look there are some stores here I will go in some Just okay. So um, we were at a concept store called Tom Greyhound. Greyhound. I think it's pretty popular, but I was not really aware of it anymore that it was here in Paris. They have an insane selection. I have to say I'm super surprised. I was sure that they, I mean, when they have Courage and Copriani, it's usually the stuff uh, the little girls like, you know, party dresses, this and that. But no, they had Dries van Noten and Josanna and they had pieces I didn't see in Galerie Lafayette, I didn't see in Printemps or somewhere else, so I was pretty impressed. I hope there is anything that goes on sale, like in Jan or Feb. Um, they had an insane Jill collection and Totem, I have to say, as well. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Totem because I'm not a fan of brands that are made by influencers, but Ellen Kling, she did a good job, so I really liked one of the coats. Mm, still thinking if 1K is not too much for a coat by Ellen Kling, to be honest. And yeah, I didn't get myself something, but there is a, we went to another store. They actually, it's a Korean designer who is designing everything himself and producing it in Korea, which is sick. And I have to say the quality price ratio is insane. I can only recommend it if you like the minimalistic Korean. Uh, actually, it's not very typical. Okay, the pants are 
very Korean, I would say, because they are like wider in this egg shape. Uh, but for blazers and also some knitwear, it's insane. I will go there for myself as well next time. Um, I will blend in some moments and we got a pant. It was pretty cool, like a pant is like 180 euros. I think it's, it's definitely okay for something that was produced in Korea. And fabrics are also really nice, usually cotton uh, and everything that was that was tight is um, pretty sure like I'm, I, I'm not that much aware I have to say in terms of coloring the fabrics but it's, it looked sick. So now we're super hungry and in Maria right now and there is an open market. Just gonna show you around so it's getting more crowded because it's Saturday and I get, might get something just a bit scared of open places open food because you can easily get something with your stomach but it's insane yeah so I just got myself towels but somebody's been successful and even crazier there was one vintage store and we got an Isemiyaka shirt that is probably 10 years old looks sick sick now we are at the market Like behind you, uh, it's uh, it's really like a really nice atmosphere. 